Right here, just above me, at approximately 150 meters, spanning to 225 in the sky, you can see the classic clouds layer, which has been with us since near the beginning of the Second Life experience. It's different from the wind-like clouds in the distance. These you can't touch. They look more realistic, but you can't interact with them. So depending on context, you may want to have the classic clouds on or off. It's your choice to do that. You can go right here to actually let me go to advanced and open the statistics bar because disabling classic clouds will give you a quick performance boost. Noticeable if you go now to world and then let's go ahead to sun and environment editor. Now right here, notice we change the time of day and the apparent tint of the clouds will change according to the rest. So they're not totally out of place, but if you prefer not to have them, go to advanced sky and right here in the clouds tab, you'll want to uncheck draw classic clouds and notice how that gains a little bit of zip that way. Turn it back on. And another thing, this seems kind of misleading because classic clouds are not actually part of any single sky setting. Notice if I turn it off and switch to any other sky setting, it stays off. It's actually its own sort of global but local switch, meaning if you turn off classic clouds, other people, if they have them enabled, it won't change it for them. This is a viewer side thing, as we like to say. But now that you know, the choice is yours, whether you want to keep that classic clouds layer or turn it off or turn it on or off as the region you're in would dictate. Ooh, getting lost. 